Hello guys, and welcome, I want to do a channel update and kind of let everybody know what's been going on and where I've been and why I haven't really posted that regularly since my channel really started. And first things is a lot of you guys seen in the comments where I post that I'm, that I was sick and I never really have explained what's, what was going on. And I guess I'll do that. Um, about three years ago, I started having some pretty bad headaches. They weren't, they were kind of like migraines, but a little bit, a little bit worse. It was all over instead of just, you know, migraines are usually in one spot. These were all over and didn't go to the doctor's for it or anything. I just was taking migraine over the counter migraine medicine to try to, and it was helping. And I wasn't getting them every day. It was only every once in a while. And it over the two over two year period, it started getting pretty bad. And finally got bad enough to where I ended up having to go into the hospital. And uh, the doctor there, he started me on some medicine. Didn't really know what was wrong. Um, they had me in there for quite a while, trying to or running tests, trying to figure out what was going on. And they really didn't know and so they started me on just some medicine sent me home the only thing they figured out is they did a lumbar puncture and that's where they take a really long needle and they stick it into your lower back and into your spine and they usually do it to check to see you know if you have uh, MS or if you have meningitis stuff like that um, and what they found on mine was the pressure around my spine and around my brain, which your spinal fluid, it surrounds your spine and it also surrounds your brain and it's created in your brain. The pressure was, I think, five times higher than normal. And that's where the headaches were coming from, but they really couldn't tell me what it was. And... So at that time, I didn't have insurance, so I, I, I took the medicine, I went home, and I kind of suffered with the headaches. Um, the medicine had a lot of nasty side effects that I didn't really want to live with, so I just dealt with the headaches, not knowing that they were going to be pretty bad for me. Not just the pain, but actual do, actually do damage. And back in December was when I ended up getting a new, I went back to see the original doctor. It was a neurologist that I had and he finally gave me a diagnosis of, it's called idiopathic intracranial hypertension. And what that means, idiopathic means unknown origin. Intracranial means in your head. And hypertension is raised pressure. So basically that whole name means raised pressure in the head with an unknown source. So they still don't didn't know what was causing it. And I come to find out that, you know, he said that this disease runs its course and, you know, it, it lasts about a year and then it just kind of fizzles itself out. And I come to find out through I visited I got a second opinion through another neurologist and at this time I had had I'd actually gotten insurance so I was able to go to a better doctor the doctor that I had I mean he wasn't bad but it was at I had to go to a university hospital and unfortunately you know usually with students you have them they they want the ability to learn or they're they want the not ability but they 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 want to learn and this guy this doctor he was an older doctor and he was he was a neurological student but he didn't want to learn and you know i learned that this was an extremely rare disease in general and it was even more rare in men um usually it happens in younger women that get this disease and 
you know, they don't know why. They don't know, you know, what causes this disease. Um, his first response was um, that I got this because I was morbidly obese. And, you know, a lot of you guys haven't seen me, but, you know, some of you, you know, are on my Facebook page. You guys have seen me. Um, six foot two and about 200. I'm actually down. I was 290. I'm down to 200 and, uh, 268, 270. I've lost about 30 pounds, 25 pounds since all this started. And I'm a former power lifter. So I'm a pretty big guy in general. Not, I have a little bit of fat on me, but I'm not necessarily what you would classify as morbidly obese. And when my new neurologist heard this, you know, he's the reason why I switched to him permanently because, you know, he, he was just infuriated that somebody would think that of somebody with my size and my build, you know, to say, oh, it's because you're fat when I'm not really that fat. Um, with the uh, opening pressure, oh, I guess I should explain opening pressure, sorry. Uh, when they do a spinal tap, that's they, they test the pressure when they first put in the needle. It almost looks like a tire gauge. They check the pressure of how much the fluid is in there. Normal is between 7 and 15, and my first lumbar was 32. And that's normal in someone who's around... 600 pounds so for him to say that it was because i was or his words morbidly obese was just it was stupid and it was you know him not knowing much about this disease in general because like i said it's an extremely rare disease and he just didn't know much about it but um so i'm trying not to ramble too much but uh there's going to be some rambling in this video uh i've got new doctors now I've got a whole team of them now um, I've got a neurologist a neuro ophthalmologist um, a regular doctor uh, I got a what does he call it a gastroenterologist a regular ophthalmologist and I think that's it I think I'm missing one but anyways um, I've come to learn that this is an incurable brain disease or so far there isn't a cure and, you know, really my only hope for it now is for it to go into remission. And I'm on tons and tons of medication for it. And that's, you know, that's a lot of the reasons why I haven't really been posting a whole lot. Uh, this medication is terrible. Um, it has some of the worst side effects. And it's not just side effects that if you have these side effects, you stop taking it. Uh, you just have to deal with them. You're constantly tired, you're fatigued. Um, just threw up my breakfast in my mouth a little bit. I'm going to take a drink now because that's really gross. But anyway, so that's one of the reasons why I haven't been posted. The other reason and my other topic that I want to get on to, now that you guys know what is going on, is my computer. Um... A lot of you know I've done my Feed the Bee series off of a laptop, and you know that series has been kind of intermittent. Even though I love playing Feed the Beast, uh, I averaged about thirty frame, thirty thirty to forty frames when I wasn't recording, but I only averaged about fifteen to twenty when I was recording, and the recording quality wasn't terrible. But the more into a, you know, a map that we got, the more machines that we added, you know, our first map, it was me, Monster, Branty, um, uh, Centenabray, I think he was using a different name then, uh, and there was two other people that were on the map with us, you know, with all those people on the map, all of them running machines, it it created a ton of lag, which, you know, you can't really tell if you have a good computer. And it was the same thing. Even with just last season, when me and Monster 
it was just me and him you know that was probably I've got the farthest in Feed the Beast I've ever gotten and I wasn't able to show a whole lot of it because once I got to a certain point every time I would hit record I would only get three or four frames and I'm not going to record a video in that now we started this new season and there hasn't been a whole lot to this uh, mostly because I have been dealing a lot with me being sick right now and this is I've been going to tons and tons of doctor's appointments but this is the most mods that we've ever used on a server I think we're using uh, I think I can hit F nope nope that wasn't it uh, nope was that it yeah F3 we got 196 mods loaded and wow my ADD just kicked in look at that sheep over there I did not notice that those sheep are changing colors huh there's one up in that tree too okay back on back anyways um I got a new computer though and I should be putting a little video up in the corner right about now uh, of just what some of the inside that's not a very good video but it is it's showing what some of it looks or what it looks like on the inside uh, but I'll give you the specs of it I went with an AMD processor I went with uh, 90 the AMD um, whoo I can't go to my I'm running two screens now which is uh, I don't know how I ever lived without two screens I gotta hang on I gotta log in I think it's the AMD 9590 which is the 5 gigahertz their their top of the line processor and it's either the top of the line or I'm running I gotta bring up the computer specs Okay, it's the one right below that. It's the 9370. I had two computers picked out, and one of them had the 9590, and one had the 9370. And the uh, one with the 9590, they sold out the day before I ordered this one. And I got it through iBuyPower. And, um, yeah. Not too happy. It's it is a fantastic computer it's got it's got an uh, the AMD Radeon R9 290X graphics card in it so that's that's their top of the line graphics card it's got a one terabyte hard drive and 120 gigabyte solid state drive and 16 gigs of RAM so I mean it's it's a beast of a computer and uh, but I've already had to, the day I got it, I plugged it in, got everything installed on it. The computer ran perfect, and then I played a game, and it overheated five minutes after the game started. I tried out um, Battlefield 4, and it overheated instantly. So I called iBuyPower, and they're like, oh, just send us your graphics card, and, you know, we'll send you a new one. So I was like, yeah, that's fine. I said, uh, you guys covering shipping? They're like, no, we don't cover shipping. So I was like, oh, whatever. So it was, it was only, I think it was like 18 bucks for shipping. I had to take another drink. But, um, yeah, I mean, it wasn't too bad. But um, I got the graphics card back in. Uh, so it was like two weeks after I bought the computer. Uh, maybe two and a half weeks before I was able to use it. I got the new graphics card in overheated within five minutes and they're like well just send us your whole computer and we'll figure out what's going on with it and I'm like are you guys gonna pay for that because I mean this thing's this thing's huge it's not a small computer at all uh, and it was gonna be between 75 and a hundred and something to ship it to them and I was like are you guys gonna cover the shipping on that and they're like no we don't cover shipping at all and I was like well uh, they're like, well, your only other option is to try to figure out if it's your motherboard. They're, they told me it was either my motherboard or the processor that was bad. And uh, ended up not being either one of them. 
ended up being uh i spent about three or four hours hunting down or troubleshooting figuring out what was going on and it's got a gigabyte motherboard in it and it's one of their um higher end motherboards i can't remember which one it is uh i think i know it's the 990 fx but uh, it's either ud3 or ud5 uh, motherboard but it's for some reason that motherboard is disabling the bios on the graphics card and it's causing the fan not to kick in so it's it's instantly overheating the graphics card so i i just instead of messing with the bios on it i just downloaded a msi afterburner and that completely overrides your graphics card bios and this thing's been running flawlessly since i mean this thing is a beast and um i'll probably do another video um i have a feed the beast episode that i've got lined up after this that's ready to be recorded i got everything set up to record and uh then i'm gonna you know show you guys some you know battlefield uh maybe some planet side on this computer and it runs everything at ultra high settings and then the other things i got for this computer were the uh i had one samsung led monitor and it's great for video editing and stuff like that for it's got real great picture quality but it's the input lag on it i think it's got a uh, six or an eight millisecond response time I got a, I went ahead and ordered a BenQ, one of their FPS monitors, and this thing is, is awesome. Um, the picture quality, I gotta admit, isn't as good as the Samsung, but it's, it's perfect for gaming. And, I mean, it works out great. And, uh, I guess the only other two things I really want to talk about was, um, I'll talk about Zen City first. Uh, I still plan on continuing Zen City. Um, I've got everything hooked up to this computer to, to record some of that. I do have some work that I've done to that that um, I'm going to put out a video showing you guys maybe either progress update or since it's been a, uh, about a month or so since the last update, I might just go ahead and just put out an update. Um, if you guys want more updates, which I'll talk about this in the other video because... I know not everybody will watch this video. Um, well, if you're not watching this video, then you won't hear this. So it really doesn't matter. <laughs> Anyways, the um, I want to work on that more and put out more frequent updates just that aren't as big as the last updates. Because, I mean, usually we didn't put out updates until we did massive amounts of work on the map. And I would rather do a little bit of work, put out an update, because it's not that hard to put out an update. And instead of just doing, you know, the update videos that we do, I'll just put it out episodes of me building stuff. And maybe every five or ten episodes, I'll put out a map update. Um, and then the last thing that I want to talk about, which some of you have seen this, um, I'm getting ready to hit 200 subs on my channel, which thank you guys. Um, I think I'm four away uh, while I'm recording this video. Uh, I have a new map that I'm going to release for 200 subs uh, that's on Xbox. I'll release a download for it. Uh, some of you have already seen it. Not all of you have. Um, it's Trust me, it's nowhere near completion. It's, it's more, it's a medieval map that I wanted, that I've been wanting to start for a long time and uh, right now, I've got one town almost done, and I've got one castle almost done. And I probably won't have it done by the time the download's out, because like I said, it's only four subs away. But um, that's going to be something, again, that I plan on doing series a series around with that and releasing updates with that. And also, I'm, I'm also there. I'm also looking for people to uh, who want to join me either on Zen City 
or on the medieval map if um, you're good I, I need good quality builders and you know even on the medieval map you know even the town that I built the design of the buildings are something that I just saw off the internet but I use my own creativity to to make my own buildings out of them I, I, I took the basic design of one of the buildings that I saw and I just the, this whole town is themed off that one design but everything's different and uh, like but you guys will see that in the video and uh, another thing that you guys will see in the video and that I'm not for sure yet if I'm going to be doing it. None of the buildings have interior work. Except for I think one. And no my voice did not squeak there at all. There's no video evidence of it squeaking. Nothing. Um, so anyways. <laughs> can't prove it. Um, I'm going to leave interior work up to you guys when you download the map um, I might do interior work later on because uh, I've been kicking around an idea of turning this into an adventure map because it's my my idea for the you son of a turn off the rain I should have done that before the video and it would never rain in this map this is just a test world that I use for Feed the Beast. This isn't the actual server world. But, um... I have no idea where I was at. Oh, yeah. Um, my idea for the map is to f not fill up the entire map with buildings. But there's going to be roads that are going to each section of the map. Um, including the end. And the nether. There's going to be stuff in the nether and the end. Uh... I'm not even going to tell you my idea for the end. That, that's that's going to be a humongous project, but it's also going to, if, it, if I can do it just right, it's going to look fantastic. But um, anyways, if you guys have stuck into this all the way up until this point, I thank you. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.